Communication is crucial to aid the victims of disaster stricken areas. Temporary wireless communication networks can be set up in these areas where communication infrastructure is compromised or non existent. CalIT2 has developed CalMesh, wireless mesh networking nodes that can establish wireless mesh networks on various protocols. An easily stored, quickly set up antenna caddy has been developed to give CalMesh improved wireless coverage around obstacles such as buildings, vehicles, and terrain. Directional antennas located at the top of a deployed antenna caddy must be positioned manually prior to setup. The ability to rotate and tilt the antenna remotely would create a more adaptable network. Last quarter, students designed the Pan Tilt Antenna Controller to remotely rotate and tilt a directional antenna that will be mounted atop a 35-foot antenna mast. Upon completion of the mechanical design project, all preliminary project objectives have been fulfilled. However, the issue of controlling the device could be significantly optimized. Currently, control of the device is limited to basic on and off commands using a simple servo controller and graphic user interface. The goal of our MAE 171B research project was to employ GPS input along with extremum seeking to create a more adaptable controller for the fine tuning of signal strength or accommodation for the movement of signal sources. More clearly, the aim of our project will be to create a system where technicians from CalIT2 can simply type in the GPS coordinates of two antenna masts, press a button, and the two pan tilt antenna controllers will automatically position themselves to send and receive data at peak signal strength. Extremum seeking is a control method which seeks out the maximum or minimum of the map of a given parameter. In the case of this experiment, it seeks out the maximum strength of a signal transmitted between two directional antennas. The control algorithm that was developed and implemented actuates the servos of the antenna controller to locate the maximum signal strength. The algorithm uses circular perturbations to calculate the local gradient of the signal map. The overall motion of the controller is then in the direction of the gradient. The system was tested using a function that simulates the radial decay of a signal with a specifiable center. Although the team did not manage to get the antenna working as desired, the team was capable of completing the majority of the goals. One of these objectives was to complete a Simulink model of the extreme seeking system which allowed us to assign coordinates to the incoming signal and have the antenna search for the location of that signal. Another completed task was to develop the difference equations from the Simulink model as well as to set up the extreme seeking algorithm to be implemented into the microcontroller. In addition, the team was capable of controlling the two servo motors in the Pantel antenna to follow the same circular motion as in the image shown. Unfortunately, the team was unable of applying the digital compass which would have allowed us to define the initial position function. Also, we were unable to retrieve the signal strength from the network. Once the network connectivity limitation has been resolved, more features can be added to the design and a production version can be fabricated. The compass should be integrated within the algorithm to ensure the antenna doesn't move past its mechanical limits and to provide the operator with a way of verifying that the controller is working properly. A user interface should provide the necessary push-button operations for the controller. After the final version of the software is embedded on the microcontroller, it should be implemented on a customized circuit board and installed within the controller's enclosure, resulting in a fully operational, self-contained production model of the automated pan-tilt antenna controller. The results of this experiment can also be implemented in a broad range of applications, including autonomous vehicles, environmental analysis, control optimization, and many other areas. For example, a system of light or acoustic sources could be used to control an autonomous vehicle, or a device could be used to follow or locate maximum temperatures, humidity, pressure, or other parameters in an environment. Additional experiments can also be performed similar to this one in many other two-dimensional quantifiable gradients.